What's up everyone, this is Ali Talks Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate guide to get the best experience out of your iPhone using the few tricks that I'm about to show you in this video. So, let's get started. So I guarantee you're going to know some of these tricks, but I also guarantee that you're going to learn a few new ones that you probably haven't seen on the internet. So to get started, you're going to want to open up the settings app, and then you're going to want to enter your privacy settings, location services, and then from here, tap on share my location. Now you're just going to want to make sure that your location is only shared with people you trust. On top of that, what you're going to want to do is find applications and mess with the settings and make sure they're accurate to what you want your device to be doing in the background. So if you want an app to always know where you are, make sure you have that selected, but I recommend having it only know where you are if you have the app open rather than always, but also less battery draining and can be better for slower performing devices. I also recommend going into system services and turning on and off these as well. I recommend only having on share my location with people you trust. So make sure you have certain features turned on that you want because the more features you turn off, the better battery life you're going to get. I also recommend keeping the status bar icon turned on so you know when an application is using your location. Next is inside the cellular data settings. Now this is going to be good for people who have a lot of data or don't have a lot of data per month. So if you turn on Wi-Fi assist in low Wi-Fi areas, it'll use your cellular data to boost your speeds. So this is good if you have an unlimited plan and you can also turn on iCloud Drive while you're at that. So you can pretty much have nothing on your device and be using iCloud storage. Also if you turn off specific applications from using your cellular data, whenever you have no service or whenever you need service, if certain apps are turned off, you won't get advertisements inside of them. Something else that needs to be changed is if you go inside your settings and then the software update category, you want to make sure automatic updates is turned off. The reason you want this is because it's bad for your device to constantly be searching for updates in the background because you'll get poor battery life and poor performance on your iDevice. And on top of that, if you just don't want to have your phone update and if you want to keep it on a certain version of iOS, then make sure this is turned off. If you go to your privacy settings, Scroll all the way down to analytics and make sure show iPhone analytics is turned off. When it's turned on, your iPhone is constantly sending reports and bugs to Apple and this can use up a ton of battery life that you could be using on applications and games. I recommend also turning off motion and fitness if you do not use them along with health and data because that's going to be using up precious battery life. Now if you want a lot of storage for your small capacity iDevice, what you want to do is go to music, go to optimize storage, make sure this is turned on and what's going to happen is all your music that you don't listen to will not install on your iDevice but all the music you do listen to on a pretty large basis will automatically be stored on your device so that way whenever you're on airplane mode or anything like that you can have your songs ready to go and you can choose the storage capacity that you want to have on your device. Also just an extra tip if you have your EQ settings to R&B you get a lot of bass. I personally enjoy this feature. Anyways those are just a few tips and tricks for your iPhone and settings that you should change. Thanks so much for watching and as always peace.